Emily Spencer, I'm with Ryan Blaney. Um, just curious, your early thoughts of how the track is, the, the kind of layout, and probably the biggest pain in the ass is just getting in here now. Yeah, it's a lot different. Um, when I walked through the tunnel this morning, looked around for a little bit, and, and things are laid out a lot differently. Um, the weirdest thing, you know, is the front stretch grandstands are gone, uh, which, what's now the back stretch. Um, there's nothing there. So that visually was kind of weird the first time we were out on the track. It was almost like I remember when they took the turn two grandstands out at Charlotte. And just the, you know, out of the corner of your eye, you're used to seeing something, and when it's not there, it's it's a little bit different. But uh, it'll be interesting, especially where they have, you know, the start finish line and restart zone. The restart zone, especially, will be kind of tricky because you're in the middle of three and four. Um, but no, I think they did a good job. Uh, the new garages are really nice. Uh, it's a, such a nice, such a better work environment for you know crew guys. Uh, you have a lot of space. You know, that's what that's what they like. And then the fan access right there. It's almost like Richmond, where they're kind of right there on the other side of the fence where you can talk to them, take pictures, sign stuff. Um, the weirdest thing to me is kind of the flow of the garage is way different. You have to kind of go all the way around the garage to get out and, and back in. That's a little bit different. And then the where the Hawkeye is, you have to push all the way around the garage. So that there's a little bit different things uh, as far as the flow stuff. But, um, no, it's, it's cool to finally see it in person. But your motor coach is outside of the track now, is it not? Uh, I don't bring mine out here. Uh, it's too far, too far to bring. Um, but yeah, that's what they said. As people who brought them, they're outside the racetrack. But uh, no, I, I never bring my my bus out here to Phoenix. We stay in a nice hotel right by the Cardinal Stadium. Uh, it's a pretty good place. But yeah, that's what uh, you know. There's really no more infield camping for drivers or fans or anything like that there either. But honestly, I mean, some of the buses that are on the back stretch now, that's a good view. Um, so that uh, I'm kind of jealous of that. I might have to park mine right there on the backstretch for next year when I if I bring it to us so I can watch some races I thought that'd be a cool spot we're kind of taking bets on which one Rodney Childers might be in this weekend but um <laughs> you have had your very first year with Team Penske and I can't imagine it was too much different than last year because even though you were with the Wood Brothers and driving the number 21 um it's it seems like, you know, everything just kind of flowed like it was supposed to be with Jeremy Bullens as your crew chief, with Andrea as your engineer, just things. Was there that much different or did it look different maybe more from the outside to people who really didn't know what was going on? Yeah, um, I got that question asked a lot and uh, it was it was pretty easy transition. Um, you know, I think there's only, you know, between road crew and pit crew members, there's, I think, three or four different. Uh, from last year but you know Jeremy crew chief Grant and Andrew my engineers there's only you know uh, two new mechanics on the car uh, and you know one's worked at Penske for a couple years in the Xfinity car the other one's new but he's worked with a lot of our guys before Uh, and then the pit crew guys we have you know two new guys so um, it's pretty much the same core group the biggest difference is you know obviously the number on the side of the car but I don't get to see Eddie and Len Wood you know every single day of the weekend as much as I used to, but um, it, it's been a pretty easy transition. And you know, obviously, the Wood Brothers are still really close. And, and uh, you know, they're, they're, with Paul driving it, it's the same deal I had last year. But uh, that was simple. You know, you never want to kind of redo everything. And uh, it was nice to keep all the same people. But you know, being able to drive for two great team owners, you know, on the Cup Series, that's been really cool uh, to do that. But uh, no, it's it's been uh, it's been a fun transition. And to win for Roger, bring that 12 car back to victory lane, that was cool. And, Hopefully we can get him one more or two more here before the the end of the year. But it's been easy. Is the corporate culture different? Because, I mean, Roger pretty much, we're in other years past, guys have had to trim their hair, maybe had, you know, shaved. Roger's Roger's kind of letting you do your thing. And, I mean, I got to give it to him because I didn't think I would see this. But when he talks to you, he almost talks like he, he – it's almost like he's talking about a grandson – and not a race car driver, do you kind of feel that relationship with Roger? Because, I mean, he's extremely fond of you. A little bit, yeah. You know, Roger, he's been great to me. You know, when he when I got to first sign with the Penske Group in 2012 and just do, you know, some uh, some Xfinity stuff for them and you know, while I was driving Brad's trucks. and uh, Yeah, he's been amazing to me and, and giving me some great chances and opportunities. And, um you know, I, there's a fine line you kind of have to go through, right? I mean, you, I think if you run well, you can kind of 
be your own person and uh i think being your own person in general is good but uh no he's you know i actually well a good example of it there's two weeks ago after uh it was after martinsville i uh my hair was kind of getting long and, and i didn't shave for a couple weeks and um and i you know there something was you know brought up and i got a haircut and I shaved, and um, so I think there's just a fine line of kind of going crossing over. But at the same time, you you know you like to be your own person, genuinely who you are, because of you know the fans. That's that's kind of how I've built my fan base is being kind of that way, being myself and stuff like that. And um, so it's it's a fine line. But no, RP has been amazing to me. He's been nothing but but someone I look, look up to for many years before I even got to drive for him. And now uh, I think it's pretty cool. But no, he's uh, yeah, he is like a you know father or grandfather figure to me it's uh it's pretty neat i can't imagine you calling him dude like kurt bush did either but um <laughs> last night you guys had a big announcement um i should say thursday night you guys had a big announcement and you did get cleaned up and i i've got to think that you know part of team penske continually being able to bring in sponsorship is due to the fact that you guys are genuine you guys do perform i mean you kind of put that whole package together, um, you know, as far as delivering when it comes to your side of the deal with, with sponsorships, um, neat little deal with, with, uh, neat little deal in Scottsdale. Can you kind of talk about that? Yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun. Um, you know, so Money Lion is our new partner and, uh, they're going to be on my car next year. Uh, they're going to be on Joey's car. They're going to be on Austin, Austin Cindric's car. Um, and they they came on board. Uh, I think at Vegas was their first race with Austin in the Xfinity car. And a really great company, pretty new company. Uh, you know, like kind of like an online or a mobile app. Uh, you know, like small loans and investments and stuff like that. So it's it's been great to get to know those guys and, and to announce that at the Penske Racing Museum out there. Uh, you know, out here, I thought that was uh, that was really special. I couldn't think of a better place to do it. Uh, and it was a beautiful night. But um, yeah, those. Uh, We've done that a few times this year. We've brought brand new companies who have never been in NASCAR or motorsports before, you know, to our side, from Body Armor to Money Lion uh, to you know Riggs and Wrangler. That uh, that's huge. You know, that that's big to bring new new names who've never been in the sport, or you know, someone like Wrangler who used to be in the sport and now they came back in it, uh, come back in it for multiple years. That's huge. And uh, I do think it's it's multiple things. It's you know, Mr. Penske's reputation and the job they do over there. And then at the same time, you know, all the drivers that can, you know, that, that people seem to enjoy and like and um, are very genuine. And, and that's what I think that's what sponsors want. So uh, I'm excited for the years to come with the Moneyline group. Like I said, they're they're new and they're hungry and they want to uh, do well just like us. So we have the same mindset there. And then what all they're doing for the fans too from giving out a bunch of tickets and, you know, cashback stuff, that uh, that just shows how invested they are in it. And fans can't see it, but you are carrying your body armor with you, so you you are a fan of of your products as well. Um, you have big plans for the off season. Uh, here you're going to do a lot of traveling. Yeah, um, the traveling deal I, I love doing. You know, even though we travel a lot throughout the year, um, I don't like sitting at home too much. So I um, going to Hawaii for the first time. I've never been out there, so um, just a, me and a group of a uh, group of I think eight of us are going uh, for like ten days. So I'm excited for that. Uh, like I said, I've never been. I'm excited to experience it, and um, I want to put. I want to sneak in one other kind of over the sea trip. I don't know where I want to go yet. There's somewhere I've never been before, um, so I'm still I'm still kind of kicking that around. Maybe wanting to go back to Ireland. Ireland's one of my favorite countries I've visited, and uh, I, I love going there. But um, we'll have to see. But yeah, have some have some uh, trips planned. Um, my older sister is having uh, her kid her first kid in January so I got to make sure I'm home for that Uncle Ryan. yep yeah I'm excited to be an uncle and um so that'll be pretty neat so there's a lot going on in the off season and um but you know at first there's, there's two more here two more of these things that we got to try to take care of how do you think your chances are at, at uh Homestead and Phoenix hopefully okay um Phoenix is a place we've kind of struggled at a little bit um it's still one of these places we're trying to figure out we've shown signs of, of speed just not able to show consistently here so We'll see if we can uh, do something. But then Homestead, I love going to Homestead. It's a shame we only go there once a year, to be honest with you. I thought I think it would be great to go there a couple times, but um, that track's always changing and, and things like that. So you never know. But, um, you know, hopefully we can 
end the year out strong. That's all. That's what you want to do, and um, and on a positive note. So uh, hopefully we can uh, rise up and, and do that. So. Final question. I heard you uh, recently purchased some acreage um, in North Carolina. Are you uh, have any plans of being a gentleman farmer, or is it kind of like a Dale Jr. thing where you just kind of like to have the space and the privacy? Yeah, I uh, I got a place last year, just over a year ago, actually, in, uh, out there in North Carolina in Mooresville, and um, about 45 acres. And I don't really plan on you know, the farming thing or nothing like that. Uh, I just kind of like being alone out there kind of on your own island and, and doing whatever you want to do so uh, uh and it's really close to our race shop too which is you know a double positive there but uh no I, I just like kind of being by myself and um kind of being able to do whatever you want to do on your on your property whether that's build little little tracks or or be loud as you want or shoot guns it's a it's a, it's a good area out there but um fireworks fireworks and no one yelling at you that's uh that's what it's all about but no it's it's a good spot but no uh no farming here in the near future appreciate your time and uh really wish you good luck the next couple of races thank you i appreciate you having me